Bobcat fans, I hope you're doing well and getting pumped up for Ohio basketball to start. We have a great group of players, and we've been ve working very hard to make you proud. You will see an aggressive team attitude and style of play this season. We have an exciting and challenging home schedule. We need you to be here for every game. This building, the Convo, has to be about big crowds and an intimidating atmosphere. We can make this a special place. Our team and staff are pledged to do their part. We need you to do your part. I invite you to become a season ticket holder today. We'll see you in the Convo. This season is going to be lights out. Ohio basketball will be lights out this season. Led by new head coach John Gross, the Bobcats are going to bring an aggressive attacking style of basketball that will heat up the convo this winter. To purchase your Bobcat season tickets, call 800-575-CATS or log on to ohiobobcats.com. Purchase the Hoops Action season ticket for only $35. Ohio basketball, lights out. They say that conference play is a season within a season. Divisional play is like a season within a season within a season. Ohio football has a very realistic possibility of capturing the Eastern Division in the Mid-American Conference. With a win over Kent State last week and with Temple coming up on Tuesday, Ohio will see everybody in the Eastern Division from now until the end of the season. So if the Bobcats do capture the title in the East, they'll have earned it. It's off to Philadelphia now. And the East is wide open. Everybody has a shot. It's Ohio and Temple coming up in Philly on Tuesday night on ESPN2. I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV, and this is the scouting report on the Temple Owls. It's year two for Temple in the Mid-American Conference. And after a 4-4 four and four league finish last year, the Owls now have five back wins. Based on where they've been and what they've done, that isn't a small feat. In 14 years in the Big East, Temple won a grand total of 14 conference games. Al Golden is in his third season in Philly, and he's trying to turn that program around. Thus far, they've been very competitive in their new conference home. Week one and week six are when the wins have come for the Owls. Temple is two and five and one and three. The Cherry and White beat Army on the Hudson 35-7 and went to Miami and won 28-10. Like Ohio, there have been some close losses. UConn went to overtime in Philly to win 12-9. It took a final play miracle for Buffalo to get by the Owls 30-28. And Western Michigan only scored one touchdown to win in Week 5, 7-3. Penn State and Central Michigan with the other two losses. Also like Ohio, Temple has been playing without its starting quarterback. While Adam DeMichael hasn't been out for as long as Theo Scott has been, his presence has been missed. He might play on Tuesday for the first time since Week 4 at Penn State. He missed some time last year, including the Ohio game, because of another injury. If it isn't DeMichael, redshirt freshman Chester Stewart will start again. He's thrown for four touchdowns this year and just over 500 yards. If his high school success is any indication, he has a shot. Stewart went to DeMatha Catholic in Maryland. Overall, though, offense is not Temple's strong suit. Ranks last in the MAC in yards per game with 266. That's close to 50 yards behind Miami and over 100 short of Ohio. When they run, they use Joe Jones and Marquise Liverpool, plus their quarterback. Receiving-wise, Bruce Francis and Travis Shelton are their top two. Francis has had a reception in 33 straight games. That's the eighth longest streak nationally. Defensively, the Owls are stingy, and they have the seventh best total D in the league. Ohio is eighth. They allow 363 yards a game, but as their scores reflect, the unit keeps them in games. Sophomore DB Jaquan Jarrett leads TU in tackles with 52. Junior defensive end Junior Gillette paces the Owls and the league with five and a half sacks. As a unit, the Temple D is third in total sacks in the MAC with 13. Special teams could play a factor too. No one in the country has more yards per kickoff return than Temple does. This is only going to be the second all-time meeting between Ohio and Temple. The Bobcats got it done at Peden Stadium last year, winning 23-7. Our coverage on the Citizens Bank Ohio ISP Sports Network begins at 7 o'clock from Lincoln Financial Field in downtown Philadelphia. And kick time between the Bobcats and the Owls comes just after 8 o'clock. The game is being broadcast on ESPN2. It's Temple and it's Ohio. It's the Bobcats and the Owls. I'm Russ Eisenstein. That's the scouting report, and this is Bobcat TV.